Most people associate a birthday party with the birthday cake and lighting candles. As there was usually a feast during a birthday party, going back all the way to ancient times, the birthday cake really didn't come into existence until classical Roman times, which is a very broad period of time. So we're talking 8th century BC to 5th century AD. So somewhere along the lines there, a birthday cake became a thing that people would eat when celebrating a birthday. So modern times now, the cake is served towards the end of a meal, or the cake itself is the meal, and it's served with a side of ice cream, soda pop, what, what have you, whatever. So, the birthday cake in its first form, from ancient times to well into the 1500s AD, they were flat circles of soft-baked bread, infused with nuts and sweetened with honey. Back then, birthday cakes were homemade rather than made by a local baker most of the time. And this was until German bakeries in the 1400s started expanding and baking more than wedding cakes, including birthday cakes. This is what started the modern birthday cake. And these cakes at this time were still of the usual, but now just sold and made available to buy instead of making them at home. So as these pretty primitive styled cakes were available, the birthday cakes that we know today didn't come into existence until the 1600s when high-priced ingredients such as icing and layers of the cake were included along with flowers and other decorations thrown onto the cake. So these new contemporary birthday cakes with the icing and all, they were available but they were really pricey extremely expensive due to the ingredients and these birthday cakes were usually enjoyed by the rich and the powerful. It was until the first industrial revolution starting in the mid 1700s all the way up until 1840 where these once really expensive ingredients to make the cake were now more available due to being manufactured by machines rather than hand. So now, by the late 1800s, due to a large stock of ingredients to make the cakes, bakeries were starting to make pre-made birthday cakes available as well, instead of just custom orders. So let's make one thing clear right now. The birthday cakes that we know today that we have, they came from Germany, and by 1870, they were now commonplace and highly popular. So now we have the cake. And it's all dolled up with icing, happy birthday, sprinkles, we got decorations. It's time to look at the candles that come along with the cake. So the usual thing these days is to put the number of candles on top of the birthday cake, coinciding with the birthday boy or girl's age. And then we're told to make a wish, but you can't say it out loud because, you know, that will ruin the wish, so just keep it to yourself. Then you blow out the candles in one breath to make sure the wish comes true. Now, researchers at Clemson University reported that some people leave a large number of bacteria on the cake when blowing out candles. But I think that these same people are the ones who can't control their mouth properly. So I think, uh, you know, the birthday person who isn't completely slobbering on the cake, it's safe to eat. Just don't go whenever you blow out your candles on your birthday cake. And I think you'd be fine. The earliest origin story of lighting candles is from the ancient Greeks. When they put candles on a cake to honor the birth of the goddess Artemis, on the sixth day of every lunar month. And then we have the pagan origin story of why we have candles on our cake, as the candles hold symbolic power as they're used when creating altars. So these are used on the birthday cakes to keep away evil spirits that are prone to visit people when they have a birthday, to shine a light into the darkness. And then we get to Germany in the 1700s where candles were put on a cake during birthday parties for children for what they called Kinderfest, where kids would celebrate in an auditorium as parents looked on, as it was believed that while kids were having their fun during Kinderfest, parents would protect the outside spirits from getting in and trying to steal the children's souls. 
as the kids would eat, laugh, play games, and so on. Their form of honoring the birthday boy or girl was merely wishing them good luck and good fortune. No gifts were expected or usually given, but if a thoughtful partygoer did bring a gift, it was a sign of good luck. And later on in future kinder fests, flowers were a very popular birthday gift. And now looking into a little bit of the history of blowing out the candles, early traditions believe that the rising smoke after you blow out your candles takes your wishes up to God to be granted. And the idea of putting the number of candles representing every year of life of the birthday boy or girl comes from the Swiss where they are required to be blown out individually instead of all at once. <laughs> 